economic dispatch in that uh, base point and participation factor method solved problem 1. The fuel cost equation of three generators are as follows. F1 of P1 is 561 plus 7.92 P1 plus 0 0.001562 P1 square rupees per hour and the generation limits 150 to 600. Similarly, for the second unit and third unit, determine the economic operating point for these three units when delivering a total load of 850 megawatt. Starting from the optimal economic solution, use the participation factor method to calculate the dispatch for the total load of 900 megawatt. So, in this problem, they asked to find the economic operating point, which is nothing but the base point for the load of 850 megawatt. Second, they asked to find the optimal economic solution using the participation factor method for the load of 900 megawatt. So, there is a 50 megawatt of load difference. Solution First one, determine the economic operation point, that is base point for these three units when delivering a total load of 850 megawatt. Step 1, find lambda using the formula lambda equal to PD plus summation i equal to 1 to n bi by 2 ai divided by summation i equal to 1 to n 1 by 2 ai. So, here 3 units, so n equal to 3, so i varies from 1 to 3, formula become PD plus b1 by 2a1 plus b2 by 2a2 plus b3 by 2a3 divided by 1 by 2a1 plus 1 by 2a2 plus 1 by 2a3. In this a1, a2, a3, b1, b2, b3 are from the cost function. If you consider the first unit cost function, so the coefficient of p1 square is a1, coefficient of p1 is b1, that is a1 is 0 0.001562 and b1 is 7.92. Similarly, for the second and third units. So, substituting all the values here, so the demand for the first case is 850 and b1 is 7.92 divided by 2 into a1 plus b2 divided by 2 into a2 plus b3 divided by 2 into a3 divided by 1 by 2 into a1 plus 1 by 2 into a2 plus 1 by 2 into a3. Simplifying this in the numerator, you will get 3542.58, the denominator 340.78 will be getting 10.395 as a answer for lambda. So, lambda equal to 10.395. Step 2, find the power generation Pi. So, P1 is equal to, the formula is lambda minus B1 divided by 2A1. So, lambda we found in the previous step, substitute that B1 from the cost function divided by 2 into A1. That gives you 396.126 megawatt. Similarly, P2 is lambda minus B2 by 2A2. It is 327.963 megawatt and P3 is 125.778 megawatt. So, after finding the generations, we are going to check with the limits whether the three generations are lies within the limits. So, step 3 check PI limits. So, P1 limits are 150 to 600, the P1 value is 396.126 megawatt, so it lies within the limits, and P2 is 100 to 400, so the answer is 327.9. 63, it also lies within the limit and P3 also lies within the limit. So, P1, P2, P3 values are within the limit. So, the economic operating point or base point will be P1 equal to 396.126 megawatt, P2 equal to 327.963 megawatt and P3 equal to 125.778 megawatt. And second part of the problem, Starting from the optimal economic solution, use the participation factor method to calculate the dispatch for the total load of 900 megawatt. So, here the load is increased by 50 megawatt. So, to solve this, first we need to determine Fi dash and Fi double dash. So, differentiate the fuel cost equation to get Fi dash. So, F1 dash equal to differentiating the cost function. The first equation 561 is constant, so 0 and 7.92 P1 differentiation, it becomes 7.92 and 0 0.001562 P1 square differentiation is 2 into 0 0.001562. Similarly, for the second and third equation, so you will be getting F1 dash equal to 7.92 plus 0 0.003124 P1 and F2 dash and F3 dash. This is Fi dash. You consider this as first equation and differentiating this equation again, so, you will be getting Fi double dash. So, F1 double dash equal to differentiating this first equation 
So for f1 dash, if you differentiate, sound point 92 is constant, so 0, and this one is 0 0.003124. So you will be getting like that. Similarly, for f2 double dash and f3 double dash, take this as second equation. The participation factor for each unit can be calculated using the formula del pi by del pd equal to 1 by fi double dash divided by summation i equal to 1 to n 1 by fi double dash. So in this problem, n is equal to 3. Substituting, we will be getting del pi by del pd equal to 1 by fi double dash divided by summation i equal to 1 to 3 1 by fi double dash. So we are going to find this del pi by del pd for all the three units. First one, del p1 by del pd, it is 1 by f1 double dash divided by 1 by f1 double dash plus 1 by f2 double dash plus 1 by f3 double dash. So substituting the values, we will be getting 0 0.4712 as del p1 by del pd. Similarly, for del p2 by del pd is 0 0.379 and del p3 by del pd is 0 0.1496. So now, the change in demand del PD is equal to 900 megawatt minus 850 megawatt. So that is a difference in power demand that is 50 megawatt. So first case it is 850 megawatt and in the second case it is 900 megawatt. The difference in power is del PD that is 50 megawatt. So the new value of generation is calculated using this formula P nu i is equal to P base i plus del P i by del PD into del PD. So for first unit, base power is P1 that is 396.126 and the del PI by del PD in the previous step we calculated that is 0 0.4712 into del PD which is 50. So substituting you will be getting 419.68 megawatt. Similarly for second unit, base power 2 that is P2 327.963 plus del P2 by del PD which is 0 0.379 into del PD is 50. 346.913 megawatt. Similarly, for the third unit, we will be getting 133.25 megawatt. So, P1 equal to 419.68 megawatt, P2 equal to 346.913 megawatt, and P3 equal to 133.25 megawatt. And this is the optimal economic solution for the load of 900 megawatt using a participation factor method.